Andy and Dave Daly back after kind of a short week here. Andy O'Reilly, Dave Cackley. I have, uh, I ran into a problem last night. Um, what was the problem? <laughs> All right, so somewhere along the line, I throw my back out, and I spend the entire uh-huh. week in Atlantic City hobbling around. Um, literally, the other night, I tried to get out of bed to go to the bathroom. Got back into bed. I said, no, I'll wait till I, it's time to get up. It hurts too bad to walk. What? Oh, it's that, it's wait, that you bad. Had it to hurts. Pee. You, you had to pee, but not bad enough to get out of I mean, you're, I, you, it hurts that bad. How bad did you have to go? Because if you really, really, really had to go, you're going. You're going to go. I get up. And you're I gonna... stand up. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. I'm back over hunched down. I'm like, I'll wait to go till I get up because I, I don't want to walk right now. Dude, you're, you're, your bathroom is pretty close to your bedroom, if memory serves me correctly. This is in upstairs. Atlantic City. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. And it's not like the bathroom is far off because we're just in a hotel and everything. But it, okay. I, I'm really sore. Okay. I really, okay. really hurt. This is bad. This is not fun. Okay. So I get home and it's like, all right, I'll stop into the the, the quack, the ready med dude. Get help. Well, I can give you these, but I can't give you anything good. You know, you'll have to call your regular doctor for some muscle relaxers. We can't give those out here. So apparently muscle relaxers are now on the list along with uh, Vicodin and everything else, you know. Yeah. So I call the regular doctor. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, we'll send you a prescription for those things. Rite Aid doesn't have them. So I said, well, what about Walgreens? Oh, we, we can't send it there. Let me call your doctor's office and have them send it there. Okay. Oh, man. So the doctor's office calls Walgreens. Walgreens, mm-hmm. guess what? They don't have it. Well, can you call the Walgreens down the street? No, sir. We can't do that. We, There's you know, a Walgreens on every corner. Dude. One of them has to have it. Nothing. Sorry, sir. We'll try oh, to get that man. in here for you tomorrow. I, it, it, Jesus. What's a guy got to do to get a... a, a... <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm like, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> can you please you know, do last something time my I, back? <laughs> See, you can't do this. Last time I had a bad back in the late 90s, I drank a pitcher of rum and Cokes. See, that's what so, you do. Uh, and that helped. Yeah, of course. You can always, you can always go to the chiropractor slash voodoo doctor. And, well, I'm thinking uh, maybe, yeah, yeah. Uh, at this point, I might have to do that. Um, I mean, so sometimes maybe, they help. Yeah, I, and I, I can't I, – I'm not a regular chiropractor goer, but, you know, sometimes. Right, all well, because I, – I mean – it's sore. Uh, Come on, they're, really they're, sore. They're, they're Alan from Two and a Half Men. Do right. you really want to go see Alan for Two and a Half Men if you've got a real you know, medical issue? Th- th- there have been times in the past where I've had back pain like this that you go into them and they mm-hmm. snap, snap, and boom, oh, you're better. I've had that happen too. I, I'm yeah. not trying to crap. I'm kind of crapping on chiropractic, uh, the chiropractic profession, but not really because it's it's worked for me. I don't know what kind of – what they do. I don't know exactly yeah. how they got their degree, What, for lack of a better word, but – but apparently, hey, you know, if, Walgreens if they can't work call for you, Walgreens they work two for blocks you. down. And, and, and That's insane. Are you kidding me? I brought Crazy. home a stowaway from Atlantic City, though. You brought home a what? A stowaway. Oh, okay. I can't wait to see what this is. <laughs> who is that? Is that? I don't know who that is. Oh, Stretch Armstrong. Okay. <laughs> I figured he'd be oh, a nice I never addition had to the studio. Look at that. Ooh. Look at those. Sexy oh, legs, Stretch yeah. Armstrong. Oh, that's impressive. Stretch Armstrong moves oh. you. God. <laughs> All right, do some news or something so All I can right. go back and bitch, piss, and moan about how bad I feel. All right, let's get into it. Injuries sustained in the death of accused sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein were more akin to strangulation Shocker. than suicide. Uh, the official cause of death is still pending. Epstein was found hanging in his cell last Saturday. Now, to be fair, it could be suicide or strangulation based on, but it's the, the where he had everything broken in his neck that it's consistent with strangulation. So what bothers me about this is and, and, and you know how I am with conspiracy theories. Most of them are crap. Almost all of them are. Uh, but there are times when they're not. Right. And this is one of those times. So a lot of people have a lot of different theories. Now, it's possible that, you know, like the guard wasn't uh, – his, his, his prison cellmate was removed. Uh, he was taken off suicide watch. He wasn't being watched. 
a lot, there were a lot of things that, you know, happened that don't seem to be accidental. Right. They seem to be on purpose. Right. And to the fact that the majority of the networks are covering this as a suicide. Yep. Bothers me. Well, it should. It really, it's, it's, it's because it's not journalism. No. Um, I'm not saying, I'm not saying entertain every, every theory, but I'm saying is you've got to really look at this and not keep saying suspected suicide when it's not suspected suicide. It's, dude. It's suspected homicide. You know, here's uh, something else I thought about uh, over the last few days quite a bit. <sighs> Sorry, my back is so, um, the, the average guy today gets caught with a stack of Playboys. Mm-hmm. He's a pervert. Right. He's an outcast. He he is this this pariah right, well, that you can't... Huh? Yeah. If you got caught with Playboys now, well, everybody's you, like, why you know are you reading where I'm going magazines? You know where I'm going yeah. with this. Um, this. This different elite level of society, they've got this whole club. It's It's... Beyond what most normal people in, in today's day and age, though, if, if you get caught with it, and, and, you know, I'm not I'm by by no stretch of the imagination by trying to make this OK, you know, but if you get caught with porn on your computer or something like that, you're an outcast. Mm-hmm. But this different level of society that we're we're looking at here, oh, it's yeah. just fine for them. They can. They can buy and sell people. They can. They've got this whole trade thing going on. And, yeah. and I'm not trying to say that that Pedophile people swapping Island kitty was, porn or any of that kind of stuff shouldn't be taken out and shot because they should. Pedophile Island is an actual place. Was an actual place that went on there. Very very powerful people went and visited. So this is like I said. This is a, this this has far reaching implications. Oh yeah. For a lot of very. Powerful people on the right and left in politics, in Hollywood, yep. and in other countries. Yes. So it's we'll we'll see what what ends up coming to this. My guess is going to be you know we're not going to find out anything. We won't find anything connecting anybody. Nope. Um, to any real extent, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen. And it's sad the way this is covered. Anyway. What else is going on? Israel has reversed its decision to allow U.S. Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib to visit the country. Tlaib was barred along with fellow squad member Ilhan Omar. Tlaib does have family in the West Bank. Evidently, uh, they're going to allow her to go visit her grandmother, you know, humanitarian stuff. Omar still barred following past comments, including, quote, Israel has hypnotized the world. U.S. support is all about the Benjamins and may Allah awaken the people and help them see the evil doings of Israel. So kind of understandable why you might not want to let her in. Uh, okay. But you know, this whole thing is, yeah, a lot of this is this is politics. Uh, Trump tweeted out earlier, they shouldn't let them come here. Israel decided not to let them come. And then they said, well, we'll let uh, Tlaib come in because she's got, a, you know, she's got right. family. Uh, but this is all about, make no mistake what this is about. What this is about, this is about Trump wanting to focus on the members of the squad and oh, not yeah. on Joe Biden, not on people who he's actually going to be running against. That they he and if you're the Democrats, you're like Jesus, just get it off, just go there. We we don't we yep. don't need any more of this. So uh, we we shall see what uh, what ends up happen uh, from that. But everything's crazy. Everything's just insane. I just shake my head on everything. I don't. I have no. I have no clue what's going on. Finally, let's 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 make things. Let's lighten things up. Okay. You know, we 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 got we got strang- You know, we got we got pedophiles being strangled in prison. We've got uh, stretches a lot of international years. intrigue. We got Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, a new. Uh, a new a distillery opening up in Muskegon. Bottoms up, a new distillery set to open downtown. It's a Berlin Sprig distillery on Western Avenue. They will feature not one, not two, not three, but four rums, vodka and gin, a veritable George Thorogood collection of spirits, uh, plans to add bourbon and rye in the near future. So wow. uh, that's fantastic. You got to drink it, up, nice, everybody. Nice Let's have a great time to- and uh, celebrate the opening. There you go. I'm excited. I, you know, I, 
Wait, as soon as they get as soon as they get bourbon, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a right. shot. Well, but, but yet wait another, a I thought you were a white claw guy now. Oh, see, yeah, you know what? I, I'm I'm trying to expand my uh, adult beverage horizons. Sure. So uh, we, I might. Uh, <sighs> I, I think I might go White Claw. Maybe I'll I'll, I'll go Scotch first, then the then the White Claw. Okay. Uh, right. Maybe I'll try a little bourbon this week. I don't know. You don't know. Well, uh, hey, that's jury's the out. Sky's the limit, man. There you go. That's how I, that's thing. how I live my life. That's how I know you. That's do. how dad. That's how Big Daddy rolls. I anyway. know it is. Sports uh, Tigers fall to Seattle. Shocker. Cubs lose. Cubs lose. Cubs lose. They blow a four-run lead in the ninth. Bryce Harper hits a walk-off. Phillies win 7-5. to five. Lions take on Houston. Preseason action Saturday night at sports. Have yourself a great weekend. We'll see you back here Monday. Bye-bye.